but then when I stop squishing it, it goes runny again and drips off my fingers. Just like real snot, which can be sometimes runny and clumpy at the same time. <laughs> Welcome to the Science Time Lab. Are you ready to experiment? Today, we're making snot slime. I have a question. Why do our bodies make snot when we get sick? I'm thinking, even though I'm not sick, I'm going to try and make some snot. And I'm snot kidding. For this experiment, you'll need corn flour, water, food colouring and a container. Let's begin the experiment. I have a friend helping me with the experiment today. G'day, Dr Matt, and g'day, I'm Dr Carl. <laughs> Hello, Dr Carl. Dr Carl is a scientist who knows all about why and how our bodies get sick. I am not sick and so my body is not making any snot, so I thought I would try and make some. Make snot? Sure, why not? Hey, great! Actually, Matt, our bodies do make snot, which the scientists call mucus, all the time, and even when you are healthy. So my body is making snot right now. Cool! And look, we're going to be making science snot too. <laughs> Let's get this snotty experiment running. Rightio. First, I need to put two cups of corn flour into this container. I'll measure those out, and while I do that, can you tell me why do our bodies make snot? Well, that is indeed a deep question, Dr Matt. <laughs> now, imagine that your nose and your throat are the entrances to your body. Well, snot is like a sticky security guard catching all the germs before they can get in and make you sick. Mm -hmm. When we're healthy, we usually swallow the snot without noticing, and then our stomach processes it. If you blow your nose every night before bed and every morning after you wake up, you clear away the germs that the sticky snot has caught for you. Ah, and that helps to keep you healthy. Exactly, Mundo. That's a great tip. OK, I've put the corn flour into the bowl. Now I'm going to put in one cup of water. Do you think this will be slimy and sticky like snot? Also, Dr Carl, why do we have so much more snot when we get sick? When you're sick, your body goes into high alert and you make extra snot to capture those extra germs. Now, this snot can be thicker and sometimes can change colour. Ah, that's why when we're sick, it's often yellow or green. Correct in window. That reminds me, I need to pick a colour for my snot. Mm. I'm thinking yellowy, oh. green, like real ah. snot. Ah. Well, here we are, yellow and green food colouring. Excellent. Can you please do the green food colouring first? Green, here we go. Two drops of green and four drops of yellow. Time to mix up this snot. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science! And scientifically, maybe we'll make a discovery. I mix it with my fingers. Trying to make some snot. Runny, runny, gooey. What will we see? You and me. Let's experiment! What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. Oh, wow. Look how oozy and goozy this snot is. It looks and feels fabulous. <laughs> Not like you feel when you have real snot. But also, I can squish this snot into a ball if I press it hard with my hand, but then when I stop squishing it, it goes runny again and drips off my fingers. Just like real snot which can be sometimes runny and clumpy at the same time. Hmm. Let's see what we've discovered. 
We used corn flour and water to make snot, but is it the same as real snot, Dr Carl? It looks like snot, but it's not the real thing. Snot becomes hard when it dries out, but corn flour goes hard when you squeeze it. They're very different. And that's why we can play with the snot slime, not our real snot. Ah, and it is amazing how it goes hard when I squeeze it oh. and then oozy and runny when I let it go. Oh. <laughs> that's because corn flour is made up of tiny, teeny particles and when you squeeze it into a ball, the water gets squeezed out and the tiny particles of corn flour jam together to make it feel hard like a ball. Then, when you release the pressure, the particles can flow freely again through the water. So it goes oozy and runny. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Dr Carl. You have taught us a lot about snot today. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. And all this talk of snot makes me want to go and... wash my hands. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, this snot is snot, real snot, but real or not, this snot is lots of fun. Have you ever had a runny nose? Noses are amazing, aren't they? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Have you ever noticed your nose? It's the thing at the front of your face. What would we do without it? Nobody knows. Everybody wriggle your nose. Ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hmm. What would we do without it? Nobody knows. Everybody wiggle your nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> well, I hope you don't have a runny nose, but if you do, it's only because your body is doing amazing things to help you get better. Maybe you might like to make some yellowy green pretend snot or blow your nose. So discover your way with some science time today. It's time.